Hey guys, it's Ricky388 here. Here's something you want to track down and watch. They're coming to Afghanistan. And that was the police district chief in Marja. He said that the Taliban, the terrorists, they attacked the building of New York and uh, they killed most of the people. They're in Afghanistan with pictures of 9-11 um, and they asked over 2,000 people in three days. Not one person had any idea what those pictures meant. And these people are the people that are living in mud huts where soldiers are going in and just killing a family of 12 all hung up against the wall because of bad intel. So listen to this. Now this is what it's called. There you go. Go and have a look at that and show that to your friends, alright? They destroy this building. So that was the reason American force today came in Afghanistan. Some of his men, however, wanted to know more. This is the heart of the war, the heart. This is backed up by Project Camelot. And they weren't convinced, rightly so, that it was an Afghan attack. No, it was, it was American. I'd just like to say one thing. One thing. One thing. Do you believe the most powerful fighting machine on the earth, combined with the United Nations, plus add all the black ops and technologies and the, um, the, the back um, the engineering of crashed UFOs. Technology we've got, trust me, I've got a playlist on it. We've got things that are the size of dandruff, okay? Now with all this at our disposal, we can't get a guy with a beard and a rag around his head. I'm sorry, I don't believe it. That's like sending a SEAL team into a kid's nursery to kill one of the kids and they fail for nine months. And where was, um, where was uh, Saddam? Three blocks from the head of the police squad living in squalor. Remember they said just quickly that two, pl two choppers dropped, one blew up, and everybody got into the other one. That's what Hillary said. Everybody got into the other one. Seventeen people in each craft. One soldier dies. How can you get all those people into one helicopter? You see, this is how we researchers catch them out. The left hand doesn't know what the right hand's saying. It would have been impossible to lift whatever the sum is, 39 people out. There is no Al-Qaeda. There is no Al-Qaeda. It's, it's a figment. It was initially designed by the CIA 30 years ago to bring down a so-called bad government near, near massive poppy fields. And um, then, this, then the, tel then, then the Al-Qaeda got bigger and bigger and bigger. And they got on to do more and more of their dirty work. And then they turned against them. But still, no matter how you, high you got the Al-Qaeda ladder, you're going to come to a ceiling with a locked door. And guess who's up in there? The CIA. So all the people going to fight for, um, for the Muslim stuff, right? they're actually working for the CIA. Do you understand me? Now, not one of these men who are prepared to die and kill babies, not one of you guys, should, you guys should know the company you're working for. And if I'm telling the truth, you shouldn't be working for them. There is no holy war. Less than 1% of 1% of Muslims are interested in it. They just want peace. 
They don't drink alcohol. Our priests fuck our little children up the backside. And then we go to Jesus for forgiveness because he gets punished for us. Theirs don't. See, the fanaticals in Muslimism are fanaticals from the bullshit, shit, arsewipe documentary dropped by the CIA to look as though it came from the Taliban. And this is what they're falling for. Anyway, there's a good video there for you to watch. Cheers.